Hi Zoe, hi YouTube friends. Right, I've popped on today um, as I've been making and um, I wanted to show you what I've been up to. Um, so, if I pan across here, you can see I've made these two lovely little box hampers. Now, we're not going to dwell on what's in them so much because these are presents for people and I don't know if they're watching. So, just have a quick look. It's the box we're more interested in. So, obviously, hampers are the thing at the moment. I've seen lots of people on YouTube doing hampers. Um, but I was thinking it'd be quite nice to use up uh, some of the gift bags that you've got lying around. Um, I don't know if you're like me and um, you, know, uh, you keep your um, gift bags for the next year. Well, sometimes you get a bit inundated with them. So I was thinking, I wonder what I could do with them. So I've got an old gift bag here. Um, I actually, for the two I've just made, they, they were the shorter gift bags. So they're about half this size, but you can use, obviously, this great big long one. Now, what I did, first of all, was to um, take this out, um, the tie, because you're going you're gonna to use this a bit later if I can actually get it out. Now I'm probably not being very prepared for this because I've just packed most of my stuff away <laughs> like my sellotape and stuff but it's to give you an idea of how I made it. So, right, taking the ribbon out. Now I said this is a longer one than I used for my ones but what you want to do is open it up and cut down the seam of the bag to about I'm gonna have to gauge it because this is a long one but we'll, we'll go for it and it's basically you can do it a lot neater and better and you know if you've got time to do it you'll be doing it nicely but I'm just sort of showing you how I got the effect so I'm just gonna go down to there on that side and down there on that side Looks, looks about the same on each side. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is just cut outwardly. It's kind of helpful that there's Christmas there. Sorry if I'm sort of not in shot, but I will show you what's going on. So what I've done now is... <laughs> don't get you. So that's a long bag. I've cut down, and then I've cut across. And I'm just going to do the same on the other side. not all in shot here <laughs> right and then trying to do it so you can still see then the then if you tuck the flaps in like that and then sort of post it back into the bag and I'll just get that straight so I'm leaning over a camera as well so it's very awkward okay so as you can see you've got that looks like that now, but it will be a lot neater, obviously. <laughs> and then this one, you want to fold it in half, or maybe just a little bit over half, and tuck it into the box. So the desired effect is to have a bit that sticks up at the back, like that, and then the pocket in. I'll see if I can move the camera for a sec, because this is... Hold on. Right. Okay. So you've got like a back brace, and then you've got like the sort of like the bag part of it. Um, you can make this uh, more shallow again if you want to. Um, what I did with my ones, if I pan across again to them, is you see they've got. The, the bucket bit like that and then <laughs> hide the name and then they've got like a um, a back bit for everyone everything to lean against so just turn that around and so we pan away so that that's what I used to put <laughs> the stand on so for making everyone feel a bit sick jogging you around so yeah so you have a back bit like that 
and then you've got the bit to put all the goodies in there. Now, this is as I said is a long bag, so I would have made it a bit shorter, I feel, but you can play around till you get the right height. And then basically you do stuff the bottom with some tissue paper or some shredded paper, and then start filling it up like you would a hamper. Now I've used um on this one you can see that I've used the um the bit that we took off the top. Hold on. This bit as like a little um a little string to go round the objects and keep them all in and tied some ribbons and a little bell to it. And then on the other one I just bring it forward. Um what I've done is left the loop on and just put the loop in to you see secure round the heaviest item that is at the back so and that can be very very effective um sorry this is a little bit mixed match and i hope you do understand so just to recap i don't stick you on a box a sec and i'll try and And show you in the camera. So yeah, it was great big long bag. I've cut it down the sides, tucked it in, tucked the front one in, and you can obviously sellotape it. And basically, this reinforces your front part. Um, the the back part just folded it over, so it makes a nice little sturdy back. Sellotape all this, or you can use your washi tape to decorate it, and so on and so forth. And then just Push your paper in there, fill it all out, and um, you can use this bit to decorate it or hold it in or do what you want really. But um, I just thought it was kind of a good idea to use up those old bags. Right, <laughs> I hope this has made sense and I hope you've liked it. <laughs> if you have, um, please subscribe and feel free to comment. And I um, hope everyone's having a wonderful day. And um, bye! <laughs>